Does IVF cause birth defects? This used to be a major worry many years ago when IVF was still new because everyone was scared that you're doing an artificial procedure in the lab and as a result of this artificiality, you may end up inducing birth defects. The reality is, it's now been so many years since IVF was first introduced and so many millions of babies have been born and there is no increased risk of birth defects at all. And this is very reassuring for doctors and for patients. And if you stop to think about it, it's very logical. After all, what are you doing in an IVF lab? What you're doing is what would normally happen in the bedroom of a fertile couple for five days in the fallopian tube. You're doing for five days in the test tube. And then once you make an embryo using the patient's eggs and patient's sperms, you're putting the embryo back in the uterus. So there's really no scope for introducing birth defects. Some things, however, you should remember that while IVF does not increase the risk of birth defects, it doesn't reduce the risk of birth defects either, which means the risk remains the same. And obviously, as we know, the risk for older women having birth defects increases. And since so many older women need to do IVF, the apparent risk will increase. And of course, if you get pregnant in your bedroom and have a baby with a birth defect, you attribute it to bad luck. If you do IVF and then end up with the misfortune of having a baby with a bad defect, you end up blaming the IVF. But trust me, this is not cause and effect. So you can be very reassured on that account at least.